there. Welcome to Solo and Smart. This is Carol Morag at carolmorag.com. And if you're at risk of aging alone, please subscribe to this YouTube channel where you will receive these daily tips in your email box. And today's video is about finding your sweet spot, a strategy solving, a challenge, and for living well. So a sweet spot is really your what merging with your why. And Frankel or Victor Frankel says those who have a why to live can bear almost any how. So family caregiving really showed me <clears throat> quite a bit of my what, <laughs> right? <clears throat> These are some of the top concerns that my sisters and I helped our parents with. And I knew one day these were the same aging concerns that I will likely face. However, I won't have a reliable support system like my parents did. I don't have three daughters, nor do I have any sons. And through my research, I discovered uh, a study that was uh, really created and put out by MD Links, which is a newsfeed for physicians. And they discovered that, of course, social support systems or networks are very critical to successful aging. And, and they found that 47% of older adults are lonely, which increases early death, adverse health risks, depression and suicide, and cognitive decline. <clears throat> and this is the uh, kind of a typical support system that most solo agers have, whether you are single or living with a partner or maybe even married. But what that means is that you have no nearby family to count on. So we depend on our faith, our friends, our extended community, perhaps our, our siblings, or maybe our nieces and nephews. But that's, that is it if you're lucky, right? <clears throat> so my sweet spot, and I had to dis you know, I had to really think through what is, what is it that I want? Well, I wanted, because of my limited social support system, I wanted a fully engaged and well-connected lifestyle. My why is so important because it's my motivating factor that will make me persist in finding and creating that larger network. So my why was because I felt terribly isolated and lonely. So I really started shifting my mindset and I needed to stop seeing the problems of, few, of having a few social connections and to shift my mindset through asking questions that helped really helped my mind to see possibilities. So I had to let go of old habits and thoughts and start to redefine problems, challenge my assumptions, which all in all would gain new insights and solutions to getting what it is that I, I wanted. So the example in how to do this um, is really uh, kind of stepping back and shifting to asking more open-ended questions because those are the questions that will help your mind become more creative. Uh, a poorly stated question would be, how can I be less isolated and lonely where I live here in the suburbs? And then the better stated questions that really opened my mind was my discovering my why, right? Why are social connections important to me? Because if I did not know that, I, it would, I would likely not remain motivated <clears throat> to creating a larger circle of friends. Other better stated questions that helped open my mind into looking at possibilities was, how can I enhance connection where I live? And also, what could happen that would enable me to feel fully engaged? 
So can you see the difference between focusing on a problem and really shifting to asking open-ended questions that open our mind to possibilities? So that is my tip for today in finding your sweet spot. Thank you for joining me. Come back tomorrow and I will talk more about this. And be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you care to ask a question, just place it in the comment section and let's start a dialogue. Thank you.